Hello everyone, welcome back to Power Distribution channel. Today in this video, we are going to watch the installation process of new three-way load break switch and upgrading the existing three-phase branch from 70mm squared wire to 240mm squared wire to accommodate a new loads on this industrial complex. First, the crew install a new concrete pole between this existing line uh, to further secure line to line face from touching each other because the gap is too wide. New COSAM is being installed on the pole to accommodate the three way load brake switch. The new wire that will be installed 240mm square. And this is the load brake switch, the three-way load brake switch, which has three uh, bushings, two input and one output. The output bushing that will goes into the cubicle and the loads. The manual operating handle for switch number one and the indicator, and the manual handle for switch number two. As you can see, the switch is quite big compared to conventional two-way switch. And now the crew are dismantling the existing conductor from the pole to be replaced with a new a thicker 240mm wire. And now the three-way load brake switch is being loaded onto the pole as the cross arm are ready. As you can see, the, the wind is quite strong up there. As you can see, the crew has to detach one of the cross arm in order to install the switch safely. And quickly, the crews mount all the brackets from the switch onto the cross arm after the switch are firmly installed the crew begins to add another cross arm to mount the existing disconnecting switch below the load brake switch the existing conductor 70 mm a square triple AC with a half insulation the ground crew are assembling and preparing the surge raster to be installed on top of the load brake switch After the cross arms ready, the crew now migrates all the disconnecting switch into the new position below the three way one by one. So the output from the three way will first go into the disconnecting switch before entering the incoming cubicles. The other crew install insulator on the new concrete pole. The surge arresters are being installed for both of the input uh, bushings. And now the cable terminations are also being migrated to the new location which is below the disconnecting switch. Meanwhile, the ground crews are installing the control cubicles uh, under the pole. And now the crew are begin stringing the new conductors to the pole, as you can see. And the next uh, 
conductors being pulled after the second wire is being pulled the crew begins to string the conductor using hoist in order to balance the force so that the cross arm doesn't twist All the necessary jumper being installed on the bushings. The conductor is being pulled into the strain clamp of the suspension insulator. For information, a new feeder line will be installed in the near future as a backup feeder for this customer. So currently, the second bushing will be left unused. And last but not least, the crew install all the necessary jumpers from the feeder line to the input bushing, from the output bushing to the disconnecting switch, and the arresters. The old unused cross arms are being removed from the pole. The installation finished and ready to be energized. Uh, that's you have it guys, the installation process of 3-way load break switch. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much.